Let's begin lying flat on your back, placing the soles of your feet together, relaxing and opening the knees to your sides, palms facing upwards, and gently closing the eyes. Slowing down from the activities of the day, allow your body and mind to unwind and relax. Take a few deep breaths as you feel the weight of your body sinking into your mat, releasing any tension in the hips, lower back, and abdomen. And now placing your palms in the center of your chest. Take a moment to really feel your heart pulsating in your chest. With appreciation and wonder, this organ works relentlessly. And as we prepare your body for movement, on the next inhalation, reach your hands up above the head and stretch. And exhale, bringing your hands down from the side and into your chest. Again, inhale as you reach up and stretch. Exhale, bringing them down from the side and into your chest. Very slowly and gently, bringing your knees together and hugging them into your chest. When you're ready, rolling over to your side and finding a seated position in wide-legged child's pose as far as is comfortable for you. Stretching your arms out in front of you, seating your hips onto your heels, knees spread apart. Releasing any tension from the neck, feeling the weight of your head into your mat. Deep breathing into your lower back, middle back and upper back. Deep conscious breaths. And now coming on to all fours, wrists beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. As you inhale, curve the spine, open the chest, look up and exhale, tuck the tailbone in, gazing towards your navel. Again, as you inhale, curve the spine, open the chest, look up. And exhale, lift the middle back and gazing towards the navel. Now in a circular motion to your right, inhale as you dip the chest and exhale as you lift. One more to the right, inhale, and exhale, lift. Reverse, inhale to the left, exhale, lift. Inhale to the left, and exhale, lift. Now finding a neutral position with your spine, Take your right hand on the inhalation, raise it up towards the sky, open chest. And as you exhale, thread the needle, taking your head onto the mat and extending the left arm in front of you. A few deep breaths. Taking your left arm towards the sky in a gentle spinal twist. You can keep it here or take it down to your right 
thigh for a further twist. Wherever you are, easy breathing. Placing your left hand back onto the mat, coming back to all fours. Reverse, inhale as you take your left arm up and open the chest. And exhale as you thread the needle, taking the head down onto the mat and extending the right arm in front of you. Deep, even breathing, really listening to your own breath. As you inhale, take your right arm up towards the sky. Keep it here or option to twist further, bringing the hand down towards your left thigh. Releasing the posture, bringing your right hand down onto your mat, coming back to all fours. Tuck the toes under and exhale as you lift and press into your first downward facing dog. Feet about hip width apart and parallel to one another. If you need to, you can bend your knees slightly. As you lift the tailbone up and back, press into each one of your fingers and fingertips, thumbs and palms. And on the next exhalation, take your knees down, chest down, and inhale into baby cobra. Exhale, release, and lift into downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, one more, knees down, chest down, again into baby cobra, or option to lift into upward facing dog, gaze upwards, and release, pushing back into downward facing dog. Last one, as you exhale, take your knees down, chest down, and this time as you inhale, twisting to your right, Exhale back to center and inhale to your left and exhale back to center. Inhale and exhale, lifting into downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths here. Releasing completely on the exhalation. As you inhale, walk up on your mat and find a seated position, straight legs out in front of you. Feet strong and pointed towards the sky. As you inhale, take your arms up, gaze up. And exhale into an easy forward fold, making space in the abdomen and belly. You can grab your feet or your shins or knees, whatever suits you best today. Lengthening the spine on every inhalation. And as you exhale, letting the head drop, feeling the weight of the head into your legs. Feeling each breath as you inhale and exhale easing into the posture. On the next inhalation, slowly come up. And as you exhale, open the legs into a wide seated position, keeping your legs strong, kneecaps and feet facing up. Find an angle that works for you so you can keep your pelvis lifted so your lower back doesn't curl back. Taking your right hand outside the right leg to your side. As you inhale, reach with your left arm up and exhale, leaning to your right side, gazing up towards the sky if you can. 
and deep breathing into your left side stretch. Easy breaths. And as you inhale, come back to center. Other side, taking your left hand outside the left leg. Right arm up as you inhale. And exhale, leaning towards your left side. Opening the chest and gaze upwards. Feeling each breath. One more. And as you inhale, come back to center. And exhale, releasing the hands. And on the next inhalation, lift with the crown of your head. And as you exhale, very gently walking with your hands and elbows in front of you. Again, with every inhalation, lengthening the spine while keeping the sitting bones planted and exhale as you inch down. With every inhalation, a lengthening of the spine and exhale, releasing the weight of the head down towards the ground, wherever you find yourself today. One more breath. Very good. Now as you inhale, slowly come back up and fold the legs into Sukhasana, an easy cross-legged position. As you inhale, take both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, opening in a twist to your right side, taking your right hand behind you and cupping the fingers to support you and your left hand outside the right knee. Soft gaze and even breaths. Now as you exhale, take your chin down towards your chest, rolling the neck towards your left armpit and back towards your right armpit. And again, towards the left, finding a spot that feels best for you today. Hold it here and breathe. Easy, conscious breaths. Exhale, release the posture and inhale as you come back to center. Inhale, hands up. And exhale, twisting to the left, supporting yourself with your left fingertips, right hand outside the left knee. With every inhalation, a lengthening of the spine. And exhale, soft abdomen and opening the chest. Good, now as you exhale, take the chin down, rolling it down to your right armpit and to your left. Again to the right, finding a spot that feels best for you. Stay here and breathe. Release the posture on an exhalation and inhale, coming back to center. Releasing the legs and lying down for your final Shavasana. Gently closing the eyes, opening the palms up towards the sky. Relaxing the toes, feet, 
calves, knees, and all your legs as though they are sinking into the earth. Your body knows how to relax. Taking this time to release any tension in the body or breath, completely letting go. Softening the belly, letting the body breathe on its own, knowing that the same heart is pulsating inside your chest. Relaxing the shoulders and neck. All your arms all the way down to your fingertips. And soft head. and all the muscles of your face completely relaxed as though your cheeks are rolling off the sides of your face and sinking into the earth. Even the eyes beneath your closed eyelids sinking to the back of the head letting go completely. Gently bringing your awareness back to the breath. Take a nice deep inhalation. And exhale, release. Very slowly and gently, wiggling the toes and fingers. Noticing how the body cooperates with every intention. And when you're ready, slowly bending the knees and rolling over to your side. using your hands as you come up in a seated position. Bringing your right hand to meet the left in the center of your chest. 